Later this month, you have the opportunity to support children battling cancer here in the Piedmont Triad and beyond. Yeah, the 17th annual St. Baldrick's Day fundraiser is making its return to Winston-Salem. And to tell us more is Amy Creason joining us live now. Welcome her back to the show. Great to have you. She is a volunteer organizer for this event. Thank you for being with us. Thank you so much for having me back again. You're very welcome. So first, for people who are unfamiliar, give a little history of this annual event and the inspiration behind it. Absolutely. So the St. Baldrick's Foundation uh, started in 2000 um, with their first head shaving event. It was just a few friends who thought, what could they do to get together and raise some money for a fellow family member who was in need? And, and so they started a, a head shaving event. They said, let's let's go bald like like our friend who's you know lost their hair from chemo. And they did it on St. Patrick's Day, which is kind of where the name came from, going bald on St. Patrick's Day gets you St. Baldrick's Day. And since that event has grown into the largest charity funder of research grants worldwide. To date, the St. Baldrick's Foundation has raised over $336 million to support the development of childhood cancer treatments in over 31 countries. So it has really grown into a, a mega event for the last 23 years, and we're excited about our 17th event. Very exciting. So what can attendees expect at this event coming up in just a few weeks? Yeah, lots of fun is the first thing they get to expect. So we um, are coming up on our 17th year, which is a really, you know, wonderful. And we are honored to have been able to keep this event going for as long as we have. We've raised over $800,000 towards childhood cancer research, and we've shaved over a thousand heads. Um, so we're really excited. We've got um, over 30 people signed up this year, and it's not too late. You can still sign up to go ball for the cause with us. Um, and this year, it's going to be at Incendiary Brewing Company, which is located in downtown Winston-Salem in the Bailey Power Plant. We're really excited about this venue. There's free parking deck right beside the venue, so it'll be really easy um, to come on down and enjoy. Uh, we'll have a big stage set up. We have an MC who likes to banter and have fun with the crowd while we're shaving heads and shaving beards. Um, there's also going to be face painting this year for the kiddos. Um, we're hoping to have a dunk, a dunk booth as well. We've almost solidified that. There's going to be music. Um, we also have an awesome silent auction. You don't even have to be there to bid on the silent auction items. Lots of, lots of great things. We've got some signed items from the Carolina Panthers, lots of great art items, as well as um, all, all kinds of other things. So um, you're going to grab a beer, of course, over at Incendiary Brewing Company, and they're donating a portion of their sales to the event um, as well that day. So we're, we're really excited. We're really looking forward um, um, to it. One of the best parts of the day, we're very fortunate here in Winston-Salem to have a wonderful children's hospital in Brenner's. And every year for the last, I wanna say eight years, we've had the Brenner's Baldies join us and shave on stage as well. And that consists of some nurses and some doctors and administrative staff over at Brenner's. And the most exciting part of that is that we will have some of our children who have beaten cancer or who are either still in treatment and still fighting cancer. They'll come out that day and they will shave their doctors and nurses heads. So that's always the best part of the day. It's really exciting to just remember why we're there and watch them and their eyes light up as they take the clippers and they <laughs> shave their nurses and doctors heads. So we're really excited. Amy, it sounds like such a terrific and rewarding mm -hmm. event to, to all those who participate in it too. And $800,000 is a lot of money, so thank you for the work. Could you share yeah. some personal experience that you might have participating in the <laughs> event? Yeah, so I um, got started in the event. Um, I started leading it um, as an event volunteer organizer in 2016, but a few years prior to that, I decided I wanted to go bald for the cause myself, and I set a pretty high goal. I said, if I'm going to shave off, you know, all these curly curly locks, I'm gonna I'm gonna raise a lot of money. So, I did it in 2013 um, and raised over twenty thousand dollars. And then I did it again this past uh, in 2020. Even during COVID, we were able to keep the event going. We just did it at a barber shop instead of kind of out in the public on the street. And I did it with my two best friends. And that was really very, very special for us to all get together and shave together. Um, you know, your hair is such an identifying part of your personality. And for children, especially small children, they haven't even really formed their own identity yet. They don't even know what their identity is. And so when they do begin chemo treatment that's so poisonous to the body and their hair starts falling out, it's really traumatic you know, for these kids. And that's the reason that this is a head shaving event is because we want to go bald in solidarity 
with, with these kids who are going through this type of treatment and let them know that we're here for them. And it's wonderful. I, I, can, I can assure you we have lots of lots of shavies, men, women, children, um, of course, our nurses and doctors, and we shave beards. We even shave some eyebrows. Hey, we'll, <laughs> we'll shave whatever we raise the money. Um, we shave lots of females' hair, which I always am really honored and excited to see how many ladies jump up and, and go bald for the cause too. Um, so, and it's it's wonderful that first shower after you shave your head. It feels so good. <laughs> it's so nice. Let me tell you. So, um, we're also excited this year to have some very special teams. We've got some teachers who are shaving with us this year. We've got um, Finley's friends, who's a wonderful, sweet little girl who's um, battling cancer right now, and her team is getting together to shave. Krista's Crusaders is a team that shaves with us every year, and Krista lost her battle quite some time ago, but they shave every year with us. So it's really exciting. It's really fun and inspiring to watch, and we're just excited to get to our goal, which is $65,000. We're at about $35,000 right now, so $30,000 to go, and I more than expect us to get there mm -hmm. with your help. Yes, absolutely. And that's why we have you on the show this morning too, for everyone to spread the word and mark their calendars for St. Baldrick's Day, Saturday, September 23rd. It's being held at Incendiary, as you heard Amy mention, that's on North Patterson Avenue in downtown Winston-Salem. Donate, sign up, get a group of volunteers, get a team together for a great cause. Visit stbaldricks.org to follow along for more information.